Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nam here, and it's been a while since I've done a video. My friends sent me three different long videos, but except they're not going to be long for you guys. It's basically just a couple timestamps that I'm going to be following and getting my reaction. Now, it's a try not to get mad type thing, so I'm going to keep a smile and stay positive. I don't know what I'm getting to. Cake. I like cake. How can you get mad at cake? It's a little bit uneven. It's a lot uneven. Why does this human exist? Still looks like a nice cake, though. Don't put it sideways. I caramba. Okay, so this person, this person should not exist. The person that was cutting the cake. You span that upside down. Skittles and M&Ms are gonna mix it. This was the end of that timestamp for the video. That's fine. The cake, I didn't... That's a motherboard. That's a sponge, that's a sink. There's oxy clean. no. This. Now the first thing you wanna do is just give your motherboard a quick rinse. This is just gonna get off all the top layer residue and the rest of it's gonna be I removed with the soap. Do this. So after you give it a quick rinse, the first thing you wanna do is spray it with your cleaner. All right. You don't have to overdo it, just give it a quick spray and then that should be good. Rinse it off again. Mm, okay. He's now by society. now, your motherboard should be pretty dirt Broken. free, but we're not quite Broken. done yet. You finally yeah. want to use the dishwashing detergent. A few drops, you don't need a lot. I put four drops on, one in each corner, so that should be that good for you too. That was not four drops, that Give was it a like, quick rinse, but don't wash off the many drops? all the way, you just want to wet it. And water now on. you wet your sponge. This is when you want to give it a good scrub. Give Get in good, all the scrub. good nooks and crannies, because you never really know mm -hmm. where those, those dirt and viruses are going to be hiding Travis or anything like that. Cool. Anything a no virus scanner can't get rid of. This should do the trick. Anything a virus scanner can't get rid of. All right, so you can just watch me see what I'm doing here. I'm just getting in all the nooks and crannies. Make sure you get on the north bridge a little pretty good because that's where a lot of viruses like to hide. All the PCI slots and the south bridge as well. Really give a good scrub on the CPU slot because, you know, that's the most important part. RAM, also the RAM slots and the power connection. more seconds. Okay. Once you get the back plugs and ports all washed off, you should be really good to go. All right, so finally, you're going to want to rinse it off yeah, just put for water the final on that. time. Put water on that bitch. You'll and clean it. since it's It'll dishwashing detergent, it should come off oh, no problem. Oh, my soul hurts. Now, once you've rinsed it all off, there's no suds left, I recommend letting it air dry. If you're really in a hurry, you can throw it in your drying machine. Fuck! But mm. Oh no, no, that's a, that's, that's a 20k camera, 10k, Now I like 20K? to start with the hose and go right for the hole in the it's camera. It's a red, it's a 20k. Go ahead and get it right in there. Don't be shy, you gotta remove all that heavy buildup. <sighs> now go ahead and give it a full dip in the bucket. We want water to run through every camera. orifice in there. A couple remove thousand all dollars that dirt right that there. We can't see. At least three thousand dollars. Memory card, a nice soak as well. Oh. Now let's put that cap back on and lather up. You want to take a little soap, put it on your sponge, remembering not to use the abrasive side. Go ahead and give it a nice scrub. Hey, at least Get you didn't all, use the abrasive side. All sides of the camera. You want to remove all those germs, all those fingerprints. Just give it a nice cleaning. Every bit. Get that memory card. Don't forget that, get it nice and clean, all those germs. Now that we have all the fingerprints removed, let's go ahead and put everything right back in that water. You're gonna wanna get all the soapy residue off. Go ahead and open that cap back up. Wanna give it one last final cleaning. And once you're feeling good about that, I like to come back with a hose and give it one more nice hit. Really give it that extra shine. And for the last step, 
let's give it a pat down with a nice soft towel. And then we're gonna to wanna to leave it in the sun for about 24 hours. Or if you have a shoot coming up sooner, you can simply stick it in a bag of rice or bake it in the oven for about an hour at 400 degrees. <laughs> bake it in the That's oven. Fucking Christ. Thanks for watching. That hurts. All right, and then there was, and then there was this. This. A lot. Yeah, that's a that's a much better scene. Now, for people that remember this stream, I like my beer. It's not. Oh my fucking god, this is pissing me off. No, no. <laughs> Banging the top on the table, trying to open it. This is so. Upsetting. It's supposed to be an easy twist off. Uh. It was super no, no. glued. <laughs> it's bad for my teeth. I probably chipped the shit out of my teeth. Very smooth and easy to open. <laughs> Fuck up. whoever did that. It was me. It wasn't Dylan. I take all credit for it. Thank you guys for watching. I didn't like the cake or the camera dipping or the CPU washing. I didn't like any of this. I need a beer. One that's not glued to the fucking bottle. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Boop. I'm not ending that on a boop. Fuck your boop. Fuck your boop. I'm not ending it. This video will go on forever. <laughs>